What is going on, Print Fam? Do I got some exciting news for you? The long awaited, highly anticipated Print Life shop management software is finally out of beta and ready for you to start using to manage your shop more efficiently. This software was designed and developed exclusively for the one man operation. The whole concept behind this was to automate as much as possible to make the process of running a print shop more enjoyable. Being a business owner is supposed to be fun. Thus, I set out to build it for myself and it's been a long road, but I finally feel like I've done it. So with that, we're officially out of beta and we're going into a soft launch. Now, what that means is we are only making it available to 50 shops. So this is a first come, first serve basis. And we are offering an extremely ridiculous monthly price I mean, this, it's out of this world. There's nothing on the market that even comes close as far as functionality and all the things you can do at this price. And one more thing, this video runs a little bit long because it's like a walkthrough. It's a demonstration of the software. And although the project builder allows you to quote jobs extremely fast, I'm showing you a function and then I explain what and why it's doing it. Watch the whole thing all the way through just so you have a firm grasp on how the software works and how you manage your shop with it. But I do apologize for the length. I, I think I heard a statistic that the average American's attention span is like 30 seconds to three minutes maximum or some crazy shit like that, which is for all of you with ADD, man, just, I yeah, know, force yourself to watch it. Once you log into your dashboard, you can see it's categorized into four simple columns. We have design, purchase orders, production, and shipping. It's all laid out to you one simple view that you can keep your finger on the pulse of your shop efficiently. These job cards are actual paid invoices from your clients. Once it's been paid, it comes into this first column here, which is the design column. So let's click on one of these to see what's going on within our invoice. Uh, this is your print spec view. So not only is your invoice how you get paid and how your customers view the status of the job you're working on for them, but this is also the view that your printers will use to set up and produce the jobs that you have gotten from your clients. Now, you may be asking yourself, all right, this is awesome, but how do you actually write these invoices? Well, I'm gonna show you, and this is the real power of this software. I call it the visual project builder. Here's how it works. From the dashboard, client calls up and they say, hey, I'd just like to get a quick quote over the phone. You say, absolutely. You come up here, you're gonna hit new quote, and you're greeted with a blank quote. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna head to the garments and you're having a conversation with them, figuring out what type of garment they want once you know you can search it from here. Let's say they want the Gildan 5000. You just hit quick search. So you're gonna select black and then you're gonna go to select quantities. Now they want 12 mediums, 12 larges, 12 extra larges. But then at the last minute, they tell you actually, hey, you know what? Can you just go ahead and add uh, red to the order as well? And you say, yes, I can because it's this easy. Boop, there you go. And you just verify what sizes they want and they tell you actually we only want two larges and two extra larges in red. No problem. So it takes the wholesale cost of the garment from SNS, it adds your percentage markup and gives you the price right up here based on the quantity. The next step is to move on to the print specs. So that's step three. And this is super simple as well. You simply add a location. Let's say this is a very simple quote and they just want to know how much it would cost to get a three color print on the front. This is how fast you can get it. Go to the ink color picker. Ask them what colors are in the graphic. We got a little bit of yellow and some like, oh, this, it's a purple color. You go, awesome. You apply the ink color and bada boom, you have got your price based on the quantity uh, that, you had, that you had set up in step two. So $419.66 for a three color print on a Gildan 5000. Very simple, very straightforward. There's also some other cool features like quick ink change out. So because there's red, let's just say they want to switch to a different color, uh, the yellow to orange on the red. That's simple. You click it, you apply it. So now we're at 430.52. So it's added our ink change out fee. So the price that you're previewing right here is out the door, including sales tax. The only thing you haven't tackled yet is shipping. So from this point, you can easily give them a quote. That took no time at all. I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna just run this um, I'm gonna run this example one more time from scratch so you can see just how quick it is without me talking. And three, two, one, go.
Done. Quote for 42 pieces, four colors on the front, three colors on the back, 668.55. I just quoted the client. The complex order is as simple as that. For you to be able to move past this stage, this system forces you as a printer to address specifics of the print job. And the reason I built it this way is so that you don't have to follow up with the client because you forgot to ask how wide they wanted it printed or how far they wanted it printed or the location of the print. This forces you to have that conversation before you can even accept payment from them. I promise you this is a, a key feature of this that, that is really a game changer and it has eliminated 90% of the mistakes we make in the shop. For each location, you can upload the art file, you can get them to email it to you, and then you can click here, select file, go to my downloads folder, we got one right here. So you can upload this, and then you just click here to specify the colors. So let's say it doesn't actually, well, we are gonna be using white, and then it looks like it has yellow as well. So white, yellow, and, and we're actually gonna take this orange off, we're gonna make this red, apply. <clears throat> oh, there's no black in there either. And then you're going to uh, define the print width. So you'll have a conversation with them on the phone. And they tell you that they wanted it about 10 inches wide. Uh, and you know from experience, you can advise them on the distance. But standard is 2.5 to 3.5 down from the collar hem to the top of the art. And they don't want this to be too high up to the collar. So we'll go 3.5 down. And then you're going to select the, pla the placement, which is center chest. You can also leave notes. Sure to print with under base. And then you're going to hit submit. And voila, you do the same thing for the back, or if they don't have the art file yet, or they're gonna email it to you later, you can just, you know, you can just define the print width here. On the back, it's gonna be an upper neck kind of thing. Uh, so they don't want it very high, uh, high down, and this is gonna be an upper neck print. Um, and then you can just say art file. All right, once you have all those specs in place, you're ready to move on to the next stage. You can select your ink type. You can set up anything from one to six different types of ink. That's completely up to you. In this case, we're just gonna use Plastisol. Next, you go to finishings. Finishings is cool because you can build this to be whatever you want. You can add folding and bagging. You can add printed neck labels, sewn hem tags, whatever. Uh, this is another good place for things like reflective inks, foils, uh, high density, anything where it's a specialty and it's an add-on from the original print pricing matrix. You can get crazy with this and have a lot of fun. Uh, once you've selected this, like let's just add folding and bagging and they also want a printed neck label. Go to final price and you just set your quote. Super powerful, all in one. You saw how quick I quoted that and just how, and how simply it's laid out and how intuitive it is for you as a printer because all the information is right in front of you and the beauty of this is is that the printers use the same invoice as a print spec sheet so you don't have to duplicate print specs you don't have to make a second sheet and print it out you can throw this on your ipad the printers have access to it they see all this stuff let's just say you have an embroidery job or something of that nature we do have custom line items here and you can create whatever kind of custom line item stuff you want uh, but let's just say it's a five by five. Uh, you're going to charge a uh, dollar ninety nine per, and they have however many are in here. What are, what are we got? So let's say you're going to do embroidery on the sleeve. So you can just put some notes in here like this for for any kind of other stuff. So you can still add your garments, and then you can just use line items to do things like you know signage or whatever else. All right. Once you've made all those changes, you're going to save your quote. And you can do this a couple ways. You can add a new client, you can save it as a guest if you haven't gotten the client's information yet, or you can assign it to an existing client. Let's assign it to my account in this case. So we're gonna assign it to me and I'm gonna go assign. There we go. So it's all, it's all set and ready to go for you. So that's pretty much it. Now, once they make a payment, so if we come to our dashboard, you'll see it's not here yet. So we're gonna come back to our quotes, the save quote, we're gonna open this up and it's time to take payment. Once you, are ready to make payment you either need to create a client account or you you can assign it to an existing client they can't check out as a guest for obvious reasons and you will be greeted by the shipping so i'm going to select 12 day standard turnaround and then it'll update the breakdown uh, once you've done that you hit next and it's time to take payment so you can accept cash you can accept a credit card you can also give them terms if you've approved their client account for like to extend credit like for a school where they have a 30-day term you can just put um, their PO number in here and then that'll accept the payment from them. They can also do this on the front end if you've installed the WordPress website. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this on terms and we're going to proceed to payment. And what it's doing is it's going into accounts receivable. Let's filter this down to assign. You can see right here that this thing is needs to be assigned and it's ready to start mocking up. So we're going to start by assigning it to our designer. Then we're going to assign it to our printer and then we're going to go to generate mockups. Now once it enters the generate mockup phase, 
We're gonna filter it to see what needs to be mocked up. This needs to be mocked up. So we're gonna start here and you just open your art manager and you start uploading your mockups. I'm gonna just use some random stuff cause I don't have a, we're just using whatever I have here. So you upload your mockup there, which you've created in Photoshop. You're also going to upload your separation file here. Uh, you can also see that all previous orders are, are set up and filtered um, with the art files for those locations as well. And you can assign those to locations fairly easily. But for now, we're just going to stick with the one I did. And uh, once that first location is set, you see it uploads. And then when you do the second one, and once all locations have been uploaded, you don't have to do anything else. It automatically emails your client, notifying them that they need to log in, review, and approve the mockups. And what they get emailed is this situation right here. So you have the public URL, which is what the client can see. So for the clients to approve the mockups, they just click right here and they can either submit a revision or if they think everything looks good, they just type their name and then they hit click to approve mock and then it moves on to the next location. And then they do the same thing here. Everything looks good. Click to approve mocks. And then once they've approved both locations, the production status automatically switches to the order queue. So let's come back to the dashboard here. And you're going to see that it was in the, it was in the submitted status. It was, it went from mock-up, sorry, it went from mock-up to submitted. And then once the clients approved the mock-ups, it went to the order queue. Let's go to order queue. And this is the invoice that we were working on. And you, the cool thing is, is that once the clients type their name and approved it, it has confirmation. So it says approved by Cam Irvin here and here. So they made the approval. We have proof that they saw it and approved it themselves. This is a very key feature that you need to enforce in your shop. Don't confirm it for them. Force them to view the ER, force them to view the invoice and approve the mockups themselves. And so from this point, you just order the garments. Once the garments come in and count, and you count them in, you just switch this to print production. And then once it's in print production, it comes over to this thing. Everything is sorted by due date. So the one that's due first is at the top. The one that's due second is next, third, fourth. So we have four here. This one is has the longest amount of time. This is the one we need to prioritize. You've gone through the production stage and it's ready to ship. Even if they have local ship, local pickup selected, let's say at the last minute they say, hey, actually, can you sh ship this over to me? Well, that's super easy. You create your labels. And then you can select all of your different shipping options. But let's say they want it, they need it quick. They need it like two day air. So you just click this. So you printed all these, you boxed them. You're gonna weigh them, get your measurements. And then you just put in uh, how wide by let's say 12. Uh, and then the weight that you got was, let's just say it was uh, 18 pounds. And then if you have another line, you, another box, you add the other box and you just keep adding as many boxes as you need. And then when you're ready to go, you just hit save shipping info and it will give you the shipping information. So you'll be able to print the shipping label. You also have access to the tracking number and all that good stuff. They, the client view here also has access to the, the tracking information once you send them the shipping label. So I feel like that's it, man. I, I didn't go into any of the mechanics. Let me just show you what's happening with the mechanics. So all that stuff was happening automatically and it's all set up through the print pricing matrix. So you add your shirt mockups, you input your print matrix pricing, and then you set up your shipping box sizes and finally your finishing price matrix. So we have folding and bagging and I can put in my cost per piece on each one of those. And that is how the system automatically generates pricing based on the inputs that you fill out. I feel like that's a fairly good overview. It always goes longer because I end up explaining things in way more detail than I need to. Hopefully you have a pretty good grasp on it. So let's talk about this soft launch promotion that I'm offering. The special that I'm offering you guys today is for a limited time, the first 50 shops are gonna be able to subscribe to the Print Life shop management software for only 20 bucks a month. Uh, 20 bucks a month. I mean, there's nothing as robust of a shop management system on the market that you can get into for $20 a month. Head to theprintlife.com. On the homepage, scroll to the bottom, you'll see a button that says, hey, get started managing your shop like a pro. Click the button, uh, fill out the form, and get signed up. Once you're signed up, uh, you'll get an email that shows you how to set this whole thing up. If you have any questions, concerns, you can email me directly. So I'm looking forward to working with you guys. It's a first come first serve basis. So as soon as they're filled up, you're not gonna get it this, at this rate ever again. You guys are the best. Thank you for being patient during the development of this thing. If it, it's, it's been crazy. It took way longer than I could have ever expected. And moving forward, once we have our user base at 50, 
I'm going to be comfortable moving forward, uh, investing more into the program and then just continuing to add features. Some of the stuff that I'm going to add to this thing, guys, in the near future is going to blow your effing mind. So stay tuned for all of that as well. This is going to be the industry standard. Moving forward, this is the way, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be what everyone goes to because it's already awesome, but once I add th these other key features that I have in the works currently, it's gonna be freaking mind-blowing. All right, you guys are the best.